I feel like a fire, a fire cracker today. I can't already sit still. I want to, uh, I want to take one stone, one stone, and starting with the human face, show all the, all the art on that stone. Uh, humans, animals, symbols, emojis, but I gotta say something else for a minute. I mean, first, folks, I like their eureka moments, you know, apple falling head and stuff. Uh, let me show you uh, where I get some of my inspirations. This is Pine Bed Archaeology, and uh, I couldn't sleep last night. Well, it's still last night. <laughs> it's just a little after midnight, but I knew something was cooking. And I watched this video, and he is finding real tools, and he recognizes them. That's what I think is awesome, to recognize a tool. Okay, well, my little, uh, whatever it was, inspiration comes from a problem that... I think, uh, I think I can fix here. I think I can fix this again. I think, well, no, I don't mean that. I mean that you guys have to fix it. But, uh, first of all, uh, I wish I had prepared for this little menagerie. Okay, I'll have to use that one. I can't get those off with one hand. Um, I think there's a, let me burp. Go. Excuse me. I think there's a... Uh, I'd rather just put it in my words. Folks, just quit busting the balls of archaeologists. Uh, just because they don't recognize what this is. Very, 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 very few do. Uh, you folks that do, you're probably starting to realize how incredibly important our study is. Because we're we uh, we're seeing the art, and now that we've seen the art, we're trying to figure out the art. We're trying to learn the language of these people through their art, and I mean that literally. Learn their language, learn their name. Who carved on? Let me see this other page. Um. It's about emojis. I mean, uh, there's folks that can text folks and, and they, they can just, uh, use emojis and, and the other person knows exactly what they're talking about. And, uh, that's, uh, now, that's not where I'm going with this. Um, the point is, uh, emojis, you know, like, there's some other words. Corona Chrome, you know, the people that wrote languages in the East, Egypt, all those places. Uh, golly, I really want to get this out. Folks, this is what we have to do. We folks that sees this art and understands the art. Uh, pine bed archaeology here just showed a bunch of stones and, uh, to me, they, well, I don't know when the Bronze Age reached America. All I'm saying is stone tools have been used up to, who knows, three or four hundred years ago. And uh, it's important for us to, to prove, I mean, to write a complete paper on the art. We have to know when it was made. Sort of. The question is, is this art on semi-modern stone tools, such as a thousand years old? Well, the only way we can figure that out is, uh, this is why I say don't bust the balls of archaeologists, because their study is this strat, doing the strata thing, and they, uh, they can find something and they have ways to prove the dirt and all that. 
how old it is. And, you know, they can even get back to 50,000 years. Well, the most important, well, not most, but I mean, an important part of this study is we know when the pieces of art were made. Now, these folks ain't seeing them. Archaeologists ain't seeing them. They, they're not, they're in boxes, hopefully, in there, but they're not seeing them. So, we, we need folks that can go to these museums and say, please, 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 let me see those boxes back there that you have dated uh, a thousand, five thousand, and use that data to... Uh, I hope that made sense because I'm not going to do this video again.